Lawfak is a community in the Aschaffenburg district in the Regierungsbezirk of Lower Franconia in Bavaria, Germany. The community lies in northwest Bavaria east of Aschaffenburg. Lawfak lies in the heart of the Vorspessert and stretches through its outlying center of Hain into the High Spessert. The community's elevation ranges from 170 to 500 meters above sea level. Lawfak's ort style are Fraunhofen, Hain and Lawfak. In 1084, Lawfak, which was originally known as Lawfa, had its first documentary mention in an obituary from Saints Peter and Alexander Collegiate Church in Aschaffenburg. Lawfak's name came from the stream on which it was built. Over the years, the community's name has changed many times, from Lawfake in 1182, to Loifa in 1191, to Lufa in 1348 to Lofsch around 1528 and 1624 before settling on Lawfak in the early 19th century. The Lawfak Valley was settled under the protection of the Counts of Rienek, who already held the Vogte from the Archbishopric of Mainz and the Collegiate Church in Aschaffenburg. On the Rienek Free Court in 1380, where Schiffen from Lawfak were specifically mentioned, settlers sat as free citizens. In the mid-14th century, glassmakers were brought into service in the Spessert with special incentives. Since they had to leave the forest from Martinmas until Easter, they sought winter dwellings in Hain and Lawfak. Many of these workers settled here owing to family ties. Already by 1469, there was a mine near the Weber Palace. In Unzera Liebefrauenthal, presumably part of the Liebesgrund, copper was mined. After the Thirty Years' War, ores were mined and smelted. In the mid-18th century, in the area of today's sporting ground, a hammer mill was built. The building of a railway in the years 1850-1854 had a very positive effect on the community's industrial development. With the railway station, an important transport link with Aschaffenburg and the whole Lower Main was created. In the course of time, the ironworks became an integrated industry in which both the mining and the processing were done, yielding a finished product. Even trades and crafts were important to Lawfak quite early on. From earlier craft businesses grew highly productive operations. In 1866, shortly after the Austro-Prussian War broke out, the engagements near Fraunhofen between Prussia and troops of the German Confederation took place during the Campaign of the Main. In 1984, the community of Lofak celebrated 900 years of existence. Fraunhofen and the outlying center of Hain developed into purely residential areas in which most inhabitants earned their income in the industrial and commercial businesses in Lofak, Aschaffenburg and the surrounding area. Lofak's economy underwent a shift from agriculture to industry. To further foster commercial industrial growth, the Lawfak OST commercial area was developed, covering an 8-hectare area between Lawfak and Hain. Another such area was developed in 2001 on a 4-hectare area between Lawfak and Fraunhofen. There are a Catholic church and an evangelical church in the core municipality. Until 1184 the people of the Lawfak Valley had to go to the Aschaffenburg Mother of God Parish for church services, then from 1184 to 1250 to Bessenbach and then from 1250 to 1810 to Saloff. On November 28, 1810, Lawfak, together with Hain, was raised to a double parish. In 1812, a bigger church was built, which then stood on the Kirkberg until 1962. In 1964, on the same spot, a new church building was consecrated to St. Thomas More. In 1995, St. Peter's Evangelical Church celebrated its 90th birthday. Before the Thirty Years' War began in 1618, Lawfak was a village with 76 on Trithenen, altogether 300 inhabitants. After the disastrous war, according to a description of properties from 1651, there were 12 men and 33 hearth places. Through an energetic promotional effort by the Elector of Mainz, the depopulated Spessert was newly settled with soldiers, craftsmen and foreigners. The old family names had disappeared and new ones made their appearance. In 1668, Lawfak had 72 households and 105 inhabitants. Until Napoleonic times, Lawfak belonged to electoral mines. From 1803 to 1810 it belonged to the Principality of Aschaffenburg, then passing until 1813 to the Grand Duchy of Frankfurt. Since 1814, Lawfak has been on Bavarian soil. At that time, Lawfak and Fraunhofen counted altogether 115 houses with 161 households and 1,451 inhabitants. The inflow of those driven from their homelands by the Second World War brought the population up to 2,552 in 1950. In 1967 there were more than 3,000 inhabitants in Lawfak, among them 56 foreigners. 
With municipal reform in 1978 and the attendant amalgamation of the community of Hain im Spessert, the population rose to 4,545 all told, 2,995 from Lofak, 687 from Fraunhofen and 863 from Hain. In mid-2001, 5,267 persons were living in Lofak, among them 580 foreigners from 42 different nations. The council is made up of 20 council members, counting the full-time mayor, Valentin Weber. The community's arms might be described thus, gules a sprig of three oak leaves or, in base a sledge, and a cross peen hammer and saltier argent. The oak leaves shown in the arms refer to Lofax location in the Spessart, which is rich in oaks. The cross tools in the base are symbolic of the old iron mines and ironworks. The arms were conferred on September 19, 1969. The former community of Hain once bore its own arms. Lofak can be reached via the Bundesstrasse 26, by rail and on the nearby A3. Lofak is located at one end of the Spessert ramp of the main Spessert railway. Thanks for watching.